Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me again. Right, let's talk about Linux. Linux for DEX. Um, in this video I'm not going to show you about Linux on DEX, which is supported, which is a Samsung way to um, allow Note 9 and Tabs for users to use Linux. In this video I will follow the um, one of the subscribers on Samsung DEX subreddit group. Uh, his nickname is BakerSZ. I believe I'm pronouncing correctly, and he posted about two days ago a tutorial and his basically review and opinion about the how to get Linux distro on your DeX station if your phone not supports Linux on DeX. So this is, can be an alternative for you to mess around with Linux distro. And it's basically um, very simple, I, I read through all this and uh, to be honest, I tried a couple of times already to install this and everything works fine except for some reason I can't get XFCE desktop installed on, on my setup and it's every time I'm trying to open and log in to the distro, the Linux distro using VNC uh, client, it just don't want to run. So I'm going to go different route, but still you will see how easy to install. So first thing what you need to do, you need to go to Google Play Store and search for user land. You're going to see something like this penguin icon. It's free to download. So you just um, download and install this app on your deck station. When it's installed and everything's fine, uh, you just run it. When you run for first time, this list will be empty and you're going to see uh, an arrow just uh, the loading icon just spinning around until all this list gets populated. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and um, I'll, I'll, I will install Debian with Mate desktop environment. So let's wait until loading <coughs> finishes. And obviously because I'm, I'm running this th second, third or fourth time, uh, the the windows or the the progress bars that you will see on my screen is slightly different from what you would see on yours. But don't worry, I'll explain everything what's gonna happen. So you got everything ready. First time when you're going to run this app, it's going to ask you for storage permission. So go in and allow, allow storage permission. So now what I need to do is just I'm going to click on Debian and it's asking me to create username and a password for Linux and for VNC. So I'm going to say Mr. P uh, just for for sake of a little joke. I'm going to make a secret is my password and VNC password is a secret as well. So click on continue. Now it says so, uh, telling me fetching data, fetching data and etc. And it's extracting the files. In your case, when you're running this for first time, it's going to download a bunch of files. What I mean, a bunch of files is going to be about 25 to 30, maybe 35 files will be downloaded, which is basically this app connects to the internet, and downloads the Debian distro in chopped files. And then when it's downloads, it extracts. And extracting exactly going to happen as you see at the moment. It just says extracting and so on, which is going to be quite quick. And by the way, another thing, <clears throat> excuse me, during this extracting process, you will be asked, how do you want to connect to Linux distro? And it's going to give you two options. Well, it's going to be three options, but I think the third one is grayed out. The first option will be SSH and the second option will be VNC. So you choose VNC. The second option, click OK and carry on doing basic extracting, etc. So as you can see, I am basically right now have X terminal. I think it's called X terminal. So I can do sudo um, get update. So let's update the repositories. So it's updating the repositories, which is fine. And come on, come on, come on. Sudo update. And I'm thinking, should I do upgrade as well? Yeah, let's do upgrade. I hope hope that not gonna crash anything, because in my previous attempts, for some reason, but I, obviously I was trying a different desktop environment, like this this um, subreddit subscriber mentioning in his post. I prefer XFCE desktop, so I typed sudo up get installed this, but for some reason, it's just I can't get that working. So I'm I'm doing a different one. And sorry, I forgot to mention to you during the installation process or extracting the files and etc. The user land app will ask you to download a VNC client and the VNC client you will be asked to download is this. <clears throat> the, this one and it's free to download and use it. So you just I, I'm using the same one. So you just download the, the actual setting approaches is very easy. I mean, like this, like the the 
Baker is mentioning in his post, in five minutes he was up and running. And I mean literally from start to finish is five minutes or even less to get this win window opened. So obviously now it's just a, a basically a troubleshoot, not troubleshooting, the maintenance. You need to update, upgrade, get everything sorted, and then you can start going and installing the user interface. <clears throat> so sudo apt-get update and upgrade is finished. Now let's install mate environment. Um, sudo apt-get install mate, enter. So it's right now goes online, finds all the files, comes back and says, you need to get um, 330, 336 megabytes of archive after this operation, 1,305 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Yes, enter. And now just leave it running. From my experience, from my t previous testing, that takes about 10, 15 minutes to get everything downloaded and extracted. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna leave this running and I'll come back when it's finished. So I, I would say after 10, 15 minutes or so, to be honest, I was waiting when it's actually gonna finish, but literally it's just finished now and installation finished, that's it, done. So just to be on a safe side, I will do a quick of update just to see if any new files being brought in with this new installation, etc. Might I might need to um, upgrade something, update something, nothing, so clear. Yeah, so right now I'm still in an X terminal. So what we need to do next, I need to basically click, choose exit. Yes, really exit and then close. Go back to user land under sessions. I right click on the Debian arrow apps and stop the session. So that's it. I stop the session of connection and at the background, I believe the container just stops, shuts down and everything's fine and that's it. So now what's gonna happen if I do um, uh, full screen this and I go straight uh, straight away connects into this. And right now it's loading all the mate desktop environment. So pretty much I have a computer, Mr. P home, trash can. Um, I have like a four different desktops. Pretty much this is a lightweight mate environment. And let's say I'm gonna open the terminal so where is it access to, 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 to screenshot oh there is a pluma text editor there is the obviously the terminal sudo app let's actually quickly check if there is a python already pre-installed okay uh python not installed so sudo app get install install python free let's get python free installed yes so literally is it's a similar thing what you will get with Linux on Dex without a Linux on Dex support, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, uh, at the moment, what I'm doing with the Python installation, I'm not tried this, so it might crash, to be honest, and not tried this. But uh, f at the quick glance, if you wanna just, as, let's say, just a quick mess around with Linux to see if it's actually good or bad or etc., this way is very easy to set up. Okay. Upon this already installed Python free version 3.5. So Python free. Okay. Uh, A equals one two three. B equals this. A times B. Okay. Exit. It's working. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, Debian mate running on my deck station. And was it took me uh, let's say. Um, about 25 minutes to get this installed. So 25 minutes, and to be honest, this was faster than setting up a Linux on Dex from zero, because I know to download Linux on Dex um, image is about 3.5 gigabytes. It takes me about 35 minutes to download, and then all the setting up, and sometimes it crashes when it's downloading from Samsung server. So it's, it's always, uh, there's a chance it's gonna crash and I need to start all over again. And this one took me about 25 minutes. So if you if your Dex station, do not support Linux on Dex. This is a very good um, alternative for you to try out to see how it goes. And pretty much that's all I'm going to do. Just close that and close that. And that's it. I'm back to my Dex. And again, I would like to say thank you to the user Bakerez who su subscribed to the Samsung Dex subreddit group and mentioned this step-by-step uh, -step guide. And pretty much that's it. 
if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and i encourage you to subscribe to this subreddit group because it's very active uh we're sharing experience sharing discussion uh, questions etc like uh, it's, it's, it's basically constantly constantly something happening here constantly uh, There's like a couple of there is one guy mentioned his uh, setup uh, Which I'm, I'm I'm quite amazed about it like this. Come on. Yes, except Like this Amazing. Anyway, I'm dr drifting away a bit uh, Subscribe to subreddit group. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video like always don't forget, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more amazing content about Android apps and games on various devices. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.